Hello, hello. Welcome to Top Shelf Backpacking. Coming up soon, I'm taking a friend on his first backpacking trip. Figured I'd show you the big three that I'm going to let him borrow, so hopefully he has an enjoyable time on his first trip. Starting with the bag, we have the REI Flash 55. This is a size large. He is 6'2", so none of my bags, me being 5'5", would really fit him that well. This has adjustable straps, the cell phone holder, the easy to reach water bottle pockets, and a brain, which I always found when I was starting out made things a little bit easier as far as organization goes. The brain does detach and turns into a fanny pack, which is kind of nice if we want to go out to any exploring from camp. A large front pocket and just one large main body. Um, kind of reminds me of the Osprey Atmos I started with years ago which had too many pockets, so this one's a little more simplistic and I think probably a little better for a first timer. Weight on this guy is two pounds, 2.8 pounds, I believe, so just shy of three pounds. A really nice padding, good contoured hip belts and hip belt pockets, and something that will actually fit his longer torso. So hopefully he finds that comfortable. Uh, won't be the first time someone has used it. Heck, if he likes it, I'll probably sell it to him for whatever I paid for it. Next up we have the tent. He does plan on using some trekking poles since we've got 1,700 feet of elevation to deal with. So I figured I would give him my larger tent. That is the Z-Pax Duplex. This guy is 23 ounces with the tent stakes, MSR carbon cores. A little bit more technical of a tent, but I want to keep his pack weight as low as possible so he has as much fun as possible, but still give him a little bit of room. Expecting a lot of mosquitoes, so definitely no cowboy camping. Um, and there's a chance we end up, you know, getting into the tent and playing cards or something if they get too out of hand. So the Z-Pax Duplex will be his tent for his first night of sleeping on trail. In the tent, he will be using my Neo Air X Therm from Thermarest. Uh, this is a size large, so 25 inches wide, which is really nice, and 77 inches long, so long enough to accommodate him. Lows will be in the 50s, so it should be a nice temperature, keep him nice and warm, uh, which, keeping him warm, but hopefully not too warm, will be the Sierra Designs Cloud 20. Uh, this is also a size large, so it'll accommodate that 25 inch pad and 77 inch length. Uh, although it's a 20 degree, it's kind of a blanket style, so really easy to pull off of you. And you can stick your feet out the bottom, which is really nice. So I find this is good, well, probably between 30 and 50 degrees. And since he said he's a side sleeper, he will be using my Trekology Aloof Deluxe. Uh, which I want to say is about four inches high, has a nice pad strap. Um, you can also put it in the hood of the sleeping bag if he wants to. So hopefully he has a nice comfortable night on trail. Night one will be spent at a campground, uh, so we'll be testing some stuff out. Got a bunch of extra pillows and other gear. So if we find something that doesn't work, we can kind of make a, a game day decision there to switch it up before we hit the trail for five miles into the Indian Heaven Wilderness. So those are the big three, little big five in this instance. Hopefully he has a good time and wants to come out again. Uh, obviously I'm fine with people bringing their own gear, but want to have them, uh, you know, experience it a time or two before they decide to make the investment into quality and hopefully lightweight gear. So yeah, let me know if he would have made any changes. And I hope the miles you hike are filled with wonder and the glasses you raise are filled with whiskey. Cheers.